Gerard Piquet may be the ultimate Chad. He arrives to games with reckless abandon. He is six foot four. He's dating Shakira. He has an IQ of 140. He has played with the greatest player that ever lived, Lionel Messi, in one of the best club teams to ever grace the game of football. He is a four time Champions League winner. He is a World Cup winner. Oh, and he's on track to become a billionaire. Although Piquet has made many millions as an athlete, it is off the pitch where his net worth is set to skyrocket. In 2017, Piquet partnered with Rakuten founder and CEO Hiroshi Mikitani to co-found Cosmos Holding, a holding company and investment group to invest in companies based in sports, media and the entertainment industries. In 2018, Cosmos struck a partnership with the International Tennis Federation for a 25-year, $3 billion partnership that will transform the Davis Cup and generate substantial revenues for global tennis development. In that same year, it was announced that Larry Ellison is set to become an investor in the Davis Cup reform project. PK is certainly playing with the big boys, and all signs indicate that he is set to add billionaire to his many accolades. Next, we turn our attention to Matteo Flamini, the former Arsenal midfielder who is currently playing for Spanish side Getafe. In 2008, Flamini co-founded GF Biochemicals. Hi Matthew, could you please tell us briefly about GF Biochemicals and what you do? First of all, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. So GF Biochemical was founded 10 years ago in 2008 by myself and uh, I was a co-partner called Pasquale Granata. The idea was uh, to produce levolinic acid at industrial scale continuously. So what we managed to, to achieve was to to start from biomass, from cellulose, to turn it into a bio-based product using a thermoreaction and to enter different applications like bioplastic, biosolvent, biodetergent. Flamini co-founded GF Biochemicals with Pascal Granata, hence the name GF. It is in fact the first company in the world able to mass-produce levolinic acid directly from biomass, including things such as grass or wood chips. In 2015, they won the John Syme Award for Most Innovative New Technology. Flamini's exact net worth is not exactly clear, but smartly he has repeatedly rejected the idea that he is the richest footballer in the world. Now amazingly, despite the fact that he is French, although he is from Marseille, not Paris, Flamini seems to be quite a humble dude and therefore may be downplaying his billionaire status. Flamini has made sustainability his life goal and with the current climate, pardon the pun, he may have hit the jackpot with regards to his timing, which by the way is one of the most pivotal aspects to startup success. I tried to look at what factors actually accounted the most for success and failure across all these companies, and the results really surprised me. The number one thing was timing. Timing accounted for 42% of the difference between success and failure. Team and execution came in second. And the idea, the differentiability of the idea, the unique idea, that actually came in third. Will Flamini see his net worth rise? These jokes are getting worse, by the way. I should have started the video with a climate change joke. It's a good icebreaker after all. I could have said, hey, comment your thoughts on climate change. Imagine the engagement that would get. Nah. It gets too heated, though. In a sense, this is probably the future model. Instead of leveraging their personal brand and endorsing a certain product for a fee, superstar athletes will increasingly demand equity in more deals or indeed build their own business from scratch. Incaipla, incaipla, no me podía imaginar, no me podía imaginar.